Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard. This is Richard's channel, and today I have yet another one of my book haul and scary facts. We are, of course, are getting a fact from my little calendar here. 365 facts that will scare the business out of you, 2019 edition. We turn to February 25th, and it is fact. After watching a documentary about a serial killer allegedly responsible for killing and torturing more than a dozen women, Katrina McGraw was shocked to discover that the home depicted in the film looked shockingly like the apartment she had just rented. As it turned out, the landlord was actually the killer's mother and had failed to disclose the property's morbid history for McGraw's single signed the, before McGraw signed the lease. But Craigslist ad did say, enough room to fit a torture chamber, lol. Just kidding. But not really. Megan Kennelly, a woman found out a serial killer once lived in her home from watching TV. ABC News, July 8th, 2014. Okay, obviously... If you're living in a house that was owned or lived in by a serial killer, you do not rent it out. You sell tickets. You have tours. I gotta think of everything for you people. Anyway, so that you are not a serial killer of sea life, for every thousand subscribers I get for all six of my channels, I purchase something like a bracelet it's from the company 4Ocean. 4Ocean then pulls a ton of trash out of the big blue form or off of our coastline. So. If you could support this channel by subscribing if you haven't, commenting, liking, and sharing it with your friends, you're supporting a better world. Anyway, on to my books. Three plays, Blith, Blythe Spirit, Hay Fever, and Private Lives by Noel Cower. I believe this is Absurdist Theater. Ooh, and mark down. Oh, we have... The receipt's still in it. Now, Arcadia, a play in two acts by Tom Stoppard. Blood Wedding. In a version by Ted Hughes. You have a play? Yes, it is. Blood Wedding. Harold Pinter Complete Works Volume 2. It's another absurdist uh, person. And then we have yet another dictionary for my collection. This is the Webster's New Dictionary Basic School Edition. If I'm going to read this, it's got to be on the top of the stack because. Otherwise, I mean, I got a lot of dictionaries, and I'm getting to the point where I'm actually going to start throwing the ones that are damaged into the recycling bin because dictionaries are outdated, but this one's still good, so it stays. Anyway, thank you for sharing that moment with me. I'm Richard.